The FDP or the Federated Data Platform has been rolled out nationally to integrate the data flows that we have to support elective recovery and that's something we've been doing here in North Cumbria. We're probably a medium-sized trust in a rural and coastal area. We provide both acute hospitals and community hospitals as well as part of a single trust. Referral to treatment is the time between receiving a referral into secondary care and the time it takes to treat a patient. The software's helped us really monitor those pathways better so we get a better insight of what's holding up the patient on their pathways and we're able to push them through. The data is updated in real time. It means that the teams can see exactly what's happening with a patient and they're able to see actions which other staff may have taken. Every day we had a spreadsheet that came out first thing in the morning. Somebody might print a version of it off on a Monday and still be working with it on a Thursday. So it could be really out of date. We don't have that now because nobody extracts from it. They have to go into the portal. We started very slowly. That is a real cultural change and you have to appreciate that because some people had never tracked anything else in the service that they were in. It really has raised staff morale in the patient tracking team who are the primary users of this system. Enabling us to cohort and enabling us to do the variety of tracking that we do has really lifted some of them. They've expressed to us on a number of occasions that they never want to go back to the other way that we used to work. We've seen the benefits from the modules that we've, we've rolled out to date and we're looking to build on that. Our commitment as a trust is in relation to improving elective care, supporting elective recovery, and reducing the amount of time that patients are waiting to receive their treatment and care, and underpinning that with efficient information systems is a key part to that. Every week, the trackers, they have really soft targets. We started off with 12 an hour, and now we've got people doing like 45 patients an hour, which is more than ever. The most important thing for us is, we actually know now how many true waiters we have. We didn't know that before. We're maximising patient safety, we're maximising the efficiency with which we move patients through their pathways so they get their treatment as fast as possible without undue delay. 